Uh, Coach, welcome to Pullman. Uh, just kind of your thoughts on, on this whole experience and, and getting to this moment and, and where your career has taken you. Yeah, super fortunate and excited. I'm um, obviously the people in Pullman and, and the community are very passionate. The alumni base is passionate. So really fortunate and excited to be here. You've had experience on the West Coast, of course. You know how tough baseball is on this side of the country. And you, you say that WSU should be able to compete. Why do you, why do you think that is? Because I think if you get the right people in the building, um, you can win anywhere. And with the resources here, it can help you get the right people in the building. Hi, Coach. Travis Green from Two News. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, congratulations on today. And I, I heard a lot in your press conference you said it's not my program, it's our program. Um, I guess how important is that to you? It's huge, um, and, and it's true. It, this is a community, it's the university's program, it's the current players, uh, the alumni that played for different coaches over the years, they all need to feel like they're a part of it. Um, I happen to just be the leader right now and the gatekeeper, and, and that's not lost on me, but it is everybody's program. Um, you said you're looking for the right guys, the guys that want to be here, and in today's day and age of college athletics, God, that's tough, yeah. the transfer portal and all that. How do you get those guys? What are you looking for? You, the you do a lot of homework and find some, you fish in different ponds than other schools. Um, one of the things with my experience is I've worked at places where it's a little harder to get players. Um, so if you're sitting at the same place recruiting the same players, it may be a little bit more challenging. You, we might have to go to different parts of the country. We might have to be creative in our packages that we're offering and those types of things. Um, but if you do your homework, you can get the right players. And, and the right players meaning people that want to be at Washington State. Right, and it's been a while. There's been momentum out here, but it's been a while, like we talked about, since any time out to Omaha or anything along those lines. Um, what are the challenges that come along with Pac-12 because it's such a deep conference, and how do you get things going where you are a winning program? Yeah, it, it's tough baseball. You need to be fundamentally sound. Um, you need to have a strong culture so when bad things happen, you have a bad weekend, you can respond. Um, but, yeah, the, the biggest thing is some of the fundamental stuff. There's not room, much room for error in, in the Pac-12. It's a great conference with great coaches. So we're really going to have to coach up the baseball side of it. And, it. and at the end of the day, that's what I am. I'm a baseball coach. This stuff is all great. But, uh, you know, if you well, you've want to find me on campus, go out to the baseball field. That's where I'm going to be. Hey, Coach, uh, Alex Crescenti, uh, KXY in Spokane. Um, so you were a California guy for most of your life. Um, how difficult was it when you got the offer here to, to move to Washington? You know, actually it was when I was younger, uh, my, my father in his career moved us around the country. I was born in Tampa. I lived there for seven years, lived in western Massachusetts in a college town, uh, moved to California two days before my freshman year was so mad at my parents at the time, but what they prepared me for in this industry is to pick up and move and, and be ready to adapt. And so my dad's in Florida, he's probably watching, thank you, uh, because you prepared me for it. We have four kids born in four different houses. My, my wife is a rock star, she's willing to do it. And like I said earlier, she asked me one question, do you think you can win here? And I said, yeah. And so this program hasn't made it to the postseason since 2009 here. Um, and you were talking about facilities and this one being, you know, next to the best in the country. Um, but, you know, it's obviously the way that college, you know, athletics have changed over the years. You know, what, how confident are you that you can get this program back to the playoffs and to back to Omaha for the first time in decades? I, I just, I don't look at things like that. Um, I was just at a school that hadn't won an outright WCC championship in 25 years. I don't really focus on the things that haven't happened or how long it's been. I really just want to get the right people in the building and, and play good baseball. And I think if you do that, keep your head down, your mouth shut, and just and just work, and then the play will take care of itself. So I really don't think about those things, how long it's been or anything like that. Curious, could you just walk us through, like, how you landed on Wazoo's radar or, or uh, kind of those conversations with Pat Sean and Yeah, you know, um, I was out recruiting <laughs> as we normally are in the summer and, and I got a phone call from an Ohio number and I was like, this is unusual and I just happened to pick it up um, and it was actually Mitch in, in the initial conversation asking if I was interested in the position at Washington State. Um, I knew the new facility in the BTO and the Pac-12 and I had, don't tell my wife this, I hadn't asked her if it was okay yet. I said I was interested interested before I talked to her uh, but then we talked later that night and we had more conversations from there and it just it seemed like the right fit um, you know I loved my job at LMU I worked for good people and we had great players in our program it was more about the fit than anything else I, I truly meant I just thought it was a great fit for me and my family those initial conversations how did you kind of define your your vision for the program 
Yeah, I just some of the things we talked about about being team first, uh, having some toughness, um, you know, being grateful for the things that we do have, not the things that we don't have. Um, you can go to any school in the country and you go, oh, well, we don't have this, we don't have that. That's not how I operate. So. I'm very, very thankful for the opportunity, and, and more than anything, I was just pretty genuine in myself, and I thought, you know what, if this is a good fit, it'll work out, and if it's not meant to be, and they're looking for something different, so be it. So, so obviously, uh, as everyone's been saying, you have the valuable experience of coaching at Loyola Marymount uh, with the success you had uh, coming in here. Um, so uh, obviously this is a, it's a different program, different level. Um, do you want to just compare and contrast your approach to this team compared with your last team? Are you going to try and bring mostly the same things you did to the last program? Or is there anything you're going to change as you, uh, you know, in your approach? Well, on the field, I think you have to adapt to the personnel. And so I'll learn more about that as we get going into the fall. But as far as people, dealing with people and, and coaching people, that's always changing. So if you try to do something like you did it somewhere else, it's not going to work because people are different. Relationships change daily. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to have to adapt on the fly. And that's why I talked about earning respect. The very first thing I need to do is I need to earn the players' respect. And for them to realize that this is their program, I'd like it to be our program, uh, but I'm going to have to earn their respect and trust. And number one, I care about them. And number two, I know what the heck I'm doing. So. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, one more question for you, Coach. Yep. Um, so you come from the WCC, so you're going to be familiar with one of the opponents in this region that you might play a couple times a year, but not as many, Gonzaga. Um, how important is it? We've seen the rise of that program yep. in recent years. How important is it to sort of take back this region? Yeah, you know, recruiting in the Northwest is huge, and that's why I kept Jake on staff. I do have a lot of respect for Gonzaga and, and Coach Maktoff. I think he's done a great job. Um, competed against him for a sev for several years. I think they show that they've shown that you can win in the Northwest. I mean, I think two years ago when we were playing, they were tenth in the country, um, and so you know we have as good of resources as, as anywhere. So they've shown that it can be done. But yeah, obviously we're going to compete against them a lot on the field and recruiting. But I do have a lot of respect for for them and their coaching staff. Uh, Coach, got a few, two other questions I was yeah. hoping to ask you. Um, first off, you said when you talked to your wife, can you win here? You said, yeah. What makes you think you can win at Washington State? Just the facilities and getting the right people in the building. And it started with my coaching staff. Like I said, I knew Jake was on staff and was hoping that he would stay if I got the job. And, you know, the two coaches that I got are, are really, really good coaches. They're good people. They're about the right stuff. They're going to set the foundation with no cracks for the players. And so it starts with that. And then getting the right players. And there's a lot of right players in the program right now. Um, the fact that not as many guys went into the transfer portal as most places when a coach leaves, I think that's pretty telling about the culture already within the program amongst themselves. Um, so, yeah, I, I just you can, you can win anywhere if you get the right people. Right. And then my last question for yeah. you, just what are your thoughts on Pullman now that you're here? <laughs> Honestly, it's awesome. I mean, I, I grew up in a small town in western Massachusetts where Williams College is. I went to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, which is one of the few college towns in California. Um, like I said, I was driving around on day one and two, and, and people were waving at me, and I was like, am I driving down a one-way street? But I realized they were just being friendly. And so um, it's a big responsibility to be the head coach here because everybody knows each other. And, uh, you know, I want to make the community proud. That's a big part of it. But, yeah, I, I, I've loved Pullman when I was flying in, just seeing all all the green scenery, it, 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 was, it was neat. Coach, kind of mile high view, what do the next weeks and months look like for you in um, getting into the team and kind of getting your bearings and getting everything going? What does that timeline look like for you? Yeah, so the draft is July 9th. Um, so we have some guys in the program that we have to see monitor and see if they get drafted. The transfer portal closes the 13th. So we need to make sure, you know, we need to add a couple pieces from there. So we're still recruiting guys. We've already had two guys on official visits this past weekend. I can't say much more about that. Um, but we did get a commitment for one of them. Um, so we got some recruiting to do. We got some roster stuff to kind of support the guys that are already in the program. <clears throat> There's some scheduling things. I, mean, I, I How long you got? And I can tell you the list of things. But the number one thing is the players. It's always going to be the players. So we need to secure the roster. We need to bring some people in. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there at the next part. Touching on recruiting like you were just talking about, how big is it to stay on this side of the country? You know, I'm sure keep relationships that you know. And also, how important is it to recruit here in Washington State? It's huge. And, and that's why Jake is so good because he knows the Northwest. Um, Jake Valentine, our assistant coach, he's, he's been doing it for a while now. Um, but, yeah, we want the best players in the state of Washington 
to come to Washington State. It starts there. Um, and then obviously we're going to branch out from there. Joe was, a, like I said, Joe Perez, our other assistant, was uh, a coach at Central Arizona Junior College. Eric Hutting, my other assistant, his brother's the, the head coach in, in Southern California at Cypress Junior College in the Orange Empire. So we're going to recruit everywhere in the country, but it's going to start in Washington.